Having damaged hair cells from loud noise exposure often triggers tinnitus, not in everybody, but in some people. Into the sudden gap that the hearing loss creates, tinnitus often appears as a compensatory reaction. It's a little bit like a phantom limb experience. If people lose their leg, they sense that they can often feel something um, where the leg used to be. And where the hearing used to be, in a part of your auditory experience that was lost, tinnitus often appears like a, a phantom hearing experience, so to speak. But this is not the end of it. It's In a way, it's just the beginning, but an awful lot can change. I come across a lot of people who get very hung up on this damaged hair cell business and think that that's the end of it. It's not. It's a temporary trigger which activates this tinnitus response. And when your system settles and you refocus and your whole attention shifts, and if you have cranial work that works directly on the buzzy charge that's in the auditory structures, if you can release that, then the tinnitus can back off. Of course, you can't do anything about damaged hair cells, not as far as I know. Hopefully, at some stage in the future, this might be possible. But with the physiology of tinnitus, which is just a nervous system reaction, remembering that the brain and the central nervous system is very plastic, it's very changeable, it's very reprogrammable. If you take the attention off your tinnitus, settle your nervous system and have direct, immediate, hands-on treatment to help the physical, buzzy, pulsing charge release and disperse, this can have a dramatic impact on tinnitus. I got rid of my tinnitus after cranial sacral therapy and also changing my diet. And then I stupidly walked in front of a loudspeaker at Notting Hill Carnival and damaged my right ear. And now I am now severely deaf in this ear. And so after years of no tinnitus, for six weeks, I had tinnitus again. It was quite bad immediately after the loud noise exposure, but it took me about six weeks to get rid of it. So this is a direct example of damaged hair cells causing tinnitus and then being able to get rid of it. And the way I got rid of it was having regular cranial sacral therapy sessions to discharge and release the structures. And I did plenty of physical body-based practice, so yoga and tai chi, um, slow movement, various things like that to deliberately retrain my focus away from the tinnitus and settle into another part of the central nervous system. This is a huge skill and technique that's very, very successful with tinnitus. And the 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 noise-induced tinnitus backed off gradually over the course of six weeks. I've worked with many musicians over the years. I've worked with many engineers, people that have had loud noise exposure from drills, from rock concerts. And there isn't any kind of tinnitus that can't back off. People have got to understand that it's a physiological reaction that's still happening that causes tinnitus long after the original event has gone and this reaction that's still active <clears throat> can settle and does settle when you have the appropriate treatment and body-based therapy to distract and cranial sacral therapy to release and discharge the physiological charge that's remaining. So yes hair cell damage is a common trigger for tinnitus but please know that it's not the end of the story it's you depending on what help you get and how you manage it and your emotional responses your tinnitus can back off completely